Okay, I hope you can hear me well. I'm going I'm going to do a video on gel printing with dollar store stencils. I went to the dollar store a while back and I found these and I, I've been wanting to print with them and I figured well, I'll make a video on it because it's really inexpensive and you don't really need to spend a lot of money to get stencils to do some good prints. So I just want to show you. this. These are the crafter's wheel one. And I'm not really fond of the crafter's wheel part of it. But as you can see, it has four nice sections. And, and you can imagine that you can get nice prints from them. Nice patterning, as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can see it on there, but... And this one's got four little sections with just geometric patterns and leaf patterns. And this one has got a little saying, so you can actually make a little little wall art with it. Be sweet and wear a crown. Be wild, which is the reason why I bought this one. I like that. Today I choose joy. And live, laugh, love. The standard. I got this one, which has, I don't know if you can see it real well, it has, I wish I had a black piece of paper. There we go. Can you see it better with that behind it? I guess not. Oh, there, you can see it better now. See, these are leaf patterns, which I really like. And this is the other crafter's square one, and this one has flowers on it. It has some interesting ones. Let me see. And I also picked up one of these, I think only, yeah, I only got one of these blue stencils with the lettering. I might try a little bit with the lettering today. And then they had these, and I don't know how they work, little stencil sheets. So I'm going to try them. I may cut them apart because I, so I've got birds and stars and daisies and hearts. These are not think, subjects I normally use and marine life. And then I've got these more, the, the stiffer ones, less flexible, I think. Oh, it says flexible though. This one's got butterflies. And then this one's got just inspirational words, gratitude, success, thankful, family. So I thought I'd use these today just, and I'm going to use them on the, on top of these background prints that I did. And these are just roll up, I just roll the color onto the plate. And these were done with, um, I won uh, a prize at, at one of our local lodge events and the bag it was a the prize was wrapped in a bag it was a bunch of um fingernail art stuff which you know really i should be the last person in the world to win it but it was full of this tissue paper and i got a ton of it and as you can see it's been well worn whoever wrapped that gift up had used it over and over again and when I printed it up on my gel plate, it gave me these lovely little wrinkles and almost like I was putting plastic sheeting over it. So I decided to just do backgrounds on all of it and then I'd come back with stencils later. So I'm going to use the stencils, Walmart stencils, over the top of it. As you can see, it's just, just gift wrap paper. And I did discover while using it that that actually has since I usually use um, just the acid-free tissue when I use tissue, I didn't know that this stuff, this has a plastic side. Can you see the shine? And a not-so-plastic side. And that this side takes the um, paint much better. I suppose you could use either side. But I also have some runoff where I roll my brayer on. And I this one I roll my brayer and I practice the stencil. Uh, just odds and ends that I'm going to print the uh, dollar store 
stencils on so I can use them in little bits in my journal. And then I do have some regular plain paper that I'm going to also use. So stay tuned. I'll be right back with all my paints and everything. Okay, so I have taken them all out of the packages. And I did say Walmart a minute ago. I meant Dollar Tree, the dollar store. These aren't from Walmart. Um, I pulled them all out of the packaging and resisted the urge to keep the packaging. These are very shiny on one side. I'm not sure what side I should be using, but we'll get started on it. Down to one side, and I also pulled out three random stamps, homemade stamps, just for something else to add some interest to it. The colors that I've got are just the Liquitech Basics, and I just pulled out all the the ones that you would get in the kit, just the oranges, just primary colors, secondary colors, and I pulled out a Dale Rowney white and an Artist Loft lamp black just in case I needed it. Also pulled out my uh, Master's Touch Acrylic Metallics. I never use these and I thought, well, I might try on this, but we we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. So, let's start with a blue. And this is like, this is old paint, and I've been trying to get this paint used up for a long time. And projects like this are perfect for using up your old paint. This is just something that's going to be cut apart and used in my, in my collages later. So I'm not really that worried about it. Let's just lay this one down like this and see what we get if we get anything. Alright, I'm going to get my tissue and rub it down. That's a very light coat of paint, so I might not really get anything from the first one, but we're going to overprint these anyway. Actually, the, the edge of the stamp, I mean the stencil, it kind of complements the edge of the, see how that scallop complements the scallop there? But it's very light, but it's a first layer. So put that right there to dry. Alright, let's see what's on here. Yeah, I probably should have gone darker with that first one. Let's just pull this on a clean sheet. Not that clean sheet. That's my good paper. Just pull this up and do something a little darker for the next layer. See, that paint is so dry. But look how nice that is. It would be something I would be cutting apart. I'm just going to go right over the top of that with a dark color. Yeah, all these paints are a little bit on the dry side. try another stencil. Let's see how this one is. The actual reason I bought them was this one. Let's do this side right here. And then let's take one of the smaller stencils so we can check and see how they work. The birds maybe. And maybe a butterfly if I could fit one in the corner. Yeah, that one fits nicely on the 
Let's see if we can pull this up. You see what the problem's going to be. I don't have a lot of light colors in this. That's going to be the problem. So we're probably going to have to switch to the metallics, which is not a bad thing. Like I said, I don't use them. I mean, I've had those metallics for the longest time, and I have not... I don't think I've used them once. These stencils have different levels, so I'm trying to be sensitive to where they are. So let's see what we get. Oh, actually, that is nice. Those birds are pretty. I didn't think I'd use them since they're... But as a grouping, that's nice. All right, we'll put that aside to dry and overprint over that later. Let's see what we've got here. Well, I'm liking Dollar Tree stencils, I think. And there's what they look like overprinted on one another. That's a nice, interesting pattern. These butterflies are really nice. Like I said, I don't usually use things like that. I don't use... Most of what I use is the stuff that I made myself. Let's see if we can get something light to show up on this dark sheet. Right, I got a dark sheet right here. Let's go in with... Let's put some white down and mix it with something. Let's see what we get. Let's mix it with orange and see if we can get a peachy look. That may have been a little bit too much orange. Yeah, see this stuff is already drying on my brayer. It's going to be one of those where I have to peel it off at the end of the session. Well, that's not very peachy. Let's throw some red in there. Yeah, that's a nice light pink. Alright, let's try. We did the birds. Let's try the hearts and flowers. Seeing so I did a pink. Let's just try all four of these and see what it looks like. Well, no, we don't want the fish. Not a big fan of fish. Well, I am a big fan of fish, but not for printing them. All right, let's see what we get. Let me pull this up. Now these are pretty flimsy stencils. I mean, they look, but they're doing just fine. I mean, I've done stenciling with just sheets of paper, so I guess I was wondering if it was going to be a problem. I mean, if you're real rough with things, maybe they won't last as long as the other ones, but they seem fine to me. They're about the thickness of... Uh, those sheets you get for notebooks uh, you know the folders that you slide the edge thing on to keep your papers in that's about how thick they are I don't know what that is in mils or inches or whatever but one good one now look at that that's interesting by putting those four stencils together that came out with a very interesting print. Can you see that well? I like that. I might just leave that one as is because that would be cut up, put in my journal with some nice stuff on there. We'll put that one in the done pile. And it didn't leave a very good impression underneath because 
I couldn't pull up all of the paint very well. Let's go over this one. With what's left. Now this is pretty flimsy paper, this tissue, but I got some good stuff out of it. Ooh. Now you can't see the patterns very well, but the color is really nice. Look at that. Can you see there's some lovely areas in there? You can't really, I mean, I can see the hearts a little bit like right there. But for overprinting, that's nice. I think that one's, maybe I'll put black over the top of that. Let's try that. We'll do a few black ones. And then I think I'm going to move to the metallics. But this is just a test to see if these stencils are worth it. I mean, it does say thin, but they're not... They're thin, but they're not flimsy. Alright, I'm going to go back to these. And we're going to put a saying on. Okay, so I have to do it backwards, right? Yeah, I think. Yes, backwards. So, I keep having to remind myself of that. Let's do this. And we'll do it on one of these emptier ones. There's nothing really on this one because I started to print on the wrong side. Well, let's put black hearts. Let's see how well this this comes out. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't got my coffee with me. I forgot to bring it outside. And like I said, I said Walmart earlier, Dollar Tree. We have one not that far from our house. And when I go in, I usually go in for little snack things that are much cheaper there than at the grocery store. Certain things like just tomato sauce and stuff if it's cheaper. Sometimes it's not. But when I go, I always check the craft part. I see. Not too bad. I didn't go all the way over the edge. <coughs> but I do like this though. I don't know if you can see those hearts. Now this, I didn't go all the way over the edge with the... I mean, I, I didn't press down hard enough on this side, but you can see how it will come out. So let's try some, let's try some more with, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I don't know if I want that. Let's just pull it up in that sheet of paper. See how it looks. And then I'm going to put down some gold and some bronze and we're going to see what we get. Oh, actually that's quite interesting. Look at that. What would have been nice if it was like blue or something instead of that murky gray brown. All right, I'm not worried about pulling that up, but if it happens, it happens. We're going to go for gold. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know why I don't use the metallics. I just, it's not like I'm a snob about it, like, like the that's not art snob kind of thing. I've seen fine art done on velvet. If you can do a fine art velvet painting, I'm not going to be the judge of what the fine art is and isn't. Ah, wrong way, wrong way. More than one. 
them, so I've done a backwards on those. Alright. And we'll do some patterning on this side. Well, find something it looks like it's going to show up on, which probably is this. It might show up on that. We'll see, and I might need to start adding thicker paint. A lot of the processes I do require thin layers. I do a lot with transparent stuff, so I have trouble getting in the groove of thicker layers. This is actually a piece from a project I'm working on now. Um, I like to pick an artist and study them and then find one of their paintings that, I don't know, moves me or speaks to me. And I don't copy the painting. It's more like a homage to it. Um, and this is, this is part of the Georgia O'Keeffe one, which I may or may not put on video. Well, you can't really see what it says, can you? But as far as, as design, that's really pretty. You can't really... Did I do it backwards? I may have. No, I just got it upside down. Live, laugh, love. I can see it. But mostly this will be cut up for collage anyways. I might cut the individual words up and hide them in the collage. Trying to get most of that gold off of there. Nice things on there that I probably will use. Now this is a copper. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint than I've been using. Well, a lot more paint, I guess, than I've been using. And that underlayer stuff is not going to come off. It's pretty dry. But, and I'm really liking these stars. I might use those a few projects. What did I miss? The only thing I missed, I think, were the other letters. Oh, and the feather. How did I miss the feathers? up on this one. Ah. Oh, I see. This is one of the ones I printed on the wrong side. I printed on the shiny side. And like I said, these are going to be cut up into pieces. Every once in a while, I'll use a whole sheet as a background on the collage, but not very often. It just doesn't happen very much. Trying to push down hard without ripping the paper is pretty hard when using tissue. Oh my goodness, that's copper is pretty. Look at that. Can you see the designs in it? The feathers didn't come out that well, but maybe they will in the next one. Put that over there. And I'm going to pull it up on a clean sheet. See if I can get all of it up so I can get something pretty with what's left. This way I can see what I'm doing. 
see if I can get it all up this time. You see the stuff in the middle here didn't come out very well. So I was afraid because this one has that pin in it still. Which I'm going to have to pry out with some pliers. That, whatever you call it, grommet that it pivoted on. The others came out when I pulled the cardboard, but that one didn't. And I don't want to push it into my gel plate and wreck my gel plate. So I was ever so cautious with it. that is okay that copper is pretty and the feather did a little bit better on that one I'm going to do the whole one with the feather next probably with the copper all right we're going to overprint this is pretty, and I almost want to keep it like that, but let's let's do the blue. It probably would show up better on the blue than on those. So we're going to do the blue one. Sometimes I'll put them in the piles because I, I keep them separated. When I get done doing a session, I'll put a pile of ones that really need something, and another pile of ones that are done. And another pile of ones that some of the parts are done and I love them, but as a whole they're not good. So I'll have different, separated in different buckets. And uh, sometimes the ones that I put over to overprint, I just can't do it. Oh my god, this pattern is so pretty. Look at that. I don't know if you can, how you can see how beautiful that is. Oh! I'm glad I pulled out these metallics. Really making my day. Alright, we're going to try the silver. I th I've got gold, copper, silver, and bronze. We're going to try the silver. I am so in love with that copper. I might buy a big tube of that when I'm done. I'm getting sold on the metallics. Still trying not to add too much paint. It's not that I'm cheap, but I am cheap. That's why I like to go to the dollar store and see if I can find bargains. Okay, you can't get all of them on there. So this is the ugliest one. So. See if we can get all but him. There. Since I don't know what it's going to do, I'm going to pull it up on a plain sheet. First. And see that with these feathers, you really have to get in those feathers. I might cut these into individual feathers because I can't see how I could work with these. It's awkward. Alright. This feather one might be the how pretty that is with a combination of the copper. Oh, I hope you can see that. I'm trying to tilt it because I notice when they when they're showing videos freshly done, if they tilt it, it looks much better. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's see how that looks on this. Push. 
try not to talk too much. I, I know you can hear the traffic outside. I mean, I can hear it. I'm sure you can hear it. And we're not far from some company that does something that makes loud thumping noises. I don't know what it is they do. But whatever it is, it's loud. Well, you really have to... I mean, I can see the impression with it tilted like this. I don't know if you can. It's pretty. What's What I'm finding so pretty is the combination where the copper and the gold come together. It's not doing a real good impression of the feathers. You can see it right there, maybe. Let me see if I can put this on something flat that maybe you can see better. Let's see if that helps. Well, not flat and colored. How about this? Can you see? Oh, it's very hard. It's hard for even for me to see. But, I mean, you can see the feathers, but the, what's pretty is that... I'm going to come all the way up. I hope I don't blind you. Is the combination of those colors. The metallics coming together. Oh, learn something new every day. All right, are there any we didn't try? Well, we didn't try this letter one. We'll try it. Not really that interested in it, but we'll try it. And we did the, the only thing we haven't done is bronze. Let's do a bronze. I'm hoping this metallic is not hard to get off my brush. I mean, off my roller. It's a brush. I've been working with brushes all week. Like I said, I'm working on that Georgia O'Keeffe series. I've got one of her paintings, and I might do a video on it. But what I do is I take the inspiration. I'm not trying to copy the painting. I'm using the inspiration, and then I go from there. And what I end up with is usually nothing at all like what they had, but... So you have to do it backwards. I have to remember that. And we will try the one with the fish. I'm not, like I said, I'm not that thrilled with it, but I thought it would be cute. And that's the only thing I haven't tried is this one that's got the, but I don't think I can fit just one of the words on here. Well, we'll try and see if we can get Dream and Create to come up. I don't think we will, because I just don't think we will. All right. Let's find something we're not that in awe of and put it over the top of it. How about this? We're not totally in awe of that. It's cute, but there's nothing on there I can see. Oh, I will use that. And I'm thinking like the feathers, the lettering is going to be difficult. It's probably going to be better used as a stencil with a sponge and some stencils work better like that as a sponge to do afterwards. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get done with this. Anything coming? Yeah, those are coming up. That one's coming up. Okay, doesn't look half bad. Mm, did come up nicely. Look at that. You can see the creep. Well, do it if I do it the right way. You can see create and dream. You can see the little patterns of the sea creatures. That's cute. Not that fun to cute, but that's cute. Maybe we'll find something. Let's try this. This is another, this is just a roll off sheet. But what I really discovered that I liked is the mix of that copper and silver. I'm going to try mixing the maybe later. 
Okay, that didn't do much of anything, but add a little metallic to what I already had, which was kind of crappy. Oh, well. Say love you. And I didn't use my... Let's... Let's see what mixing these metallics looks like if you mix them all. Well, let's mix gold and silver. Save that copper for later. I don't think the bronze does much. Ready? Mix. So we know these two, but we forget to add the gold. I actually meant to start with the silver and gold, but I didn't. So I'm trying to mix them too much. Let's see what we get. And we'll go back to the pattern and just do the pattern. Which one do we want all of? This side, I guess. That one, we want the whole thing. It's not going to show up on that. I can already tell by looking at it. But it might show up on that, as hideous as that is. And do something for it. And I think this might be my last one. I'll put one over it and get the excess. And I think I'm done. But I, I do like, I mean, some of those stencils I probably won't use again. But I think I will use the birds and maybe the butterflies. And I know I will use those feathers. But I think I'm going to cut them into segments. I don't think I'm going to use them as is. And I'm hoping the video comes out on this. I've been having the worst problem. I can hear it on my uh, on the camera. And I can hear it if I download it to media, uh, Windows Media Player, I think it is. I download it to VideoPad. It's not there. It's like there never was any. You don't even see that line show up under the audio. It's like there's no audio on the clip. Look at that. Oh, folks, we have a winner. Where's that pad so I can flat that out and show you? Oh, my goodness. Uh, dollar store stencils and metallic paint. Who knew? How beautiful is that? Can I come up closer? How beautiful is that? Oh, and that was the ugliest sheet I had in the pile. Oh my goodness. That honestly was the ugliest one and I almost didn't put it in the pile because I thought, ugh, nothing's going to improve that. Well, I was wrong, as I am so often. Let's do it on this one because this one's not very presentable either. Where do I want the silver to come out? Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. Oh, see, I discovered something new, trying something new, discovered something that I didn't even expect. And I just took out those metallics because they were in the bottom of the bucket that these other ones are in. And I don't even care if it all comes up because the grunge leftover is going to be beautiful. And it's not doing much of a pattern because that was such a busy sheet, but let me get my display thing here. I'm, ah. You can see the pattern. Don't stick your fingers in it, Ruth. You can see the pattern a bit. It's so hard to see. I'll, I'm going to take some better photographs of these. 
because with this heavy duty light I have to have to do video washes out but see you can see the pattern not you can see it on that side too it's just this this is very flimsy paper oh it's so pretty well I'm sold that was a journey let's go through a few of them anyways we have that one our bronze one and like I said, I'll, I'm going to do photos of all of these and paste them at the end of the video. That one was nice. And the letters come through nice. I can probably use those in my quote journal, which I'm having a devil of a time. I started it because my handwriting is bad and I wanted something to practice in. And I struggle with even getting back to it. And that one's nice. Oh, it's so nice. And that one is the winner of the day. And this one didn't come out very well, but you can see that some of the feathers came out. And this one, which we probably should have gone over with metallics. I might later in the day, not today. It's getting too hot out here because I have to keep the air conditioning off to videotape. So I can only come out here in the early mornings or late evenings because it's Texas and you can't breathe without the air. And this one, which I probably will go over with metallics too. I want to thank you very much for viewing this video with me. It's like I'm on an adventure and you're following me. Nothing more exciting than an art adventure. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. If you like it, like it. I'm not telling you to like something you don't like. And if you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. Even if they're ones like, uh, what's that terrible noise in the background? That terrible noise is the highway, the other side of our house. That's what it is. But um, hopefully my videos are getting better. I hope. And uh, if you don't mind my pauses when I speak, because I don't, I'm not a very talkative person. So I'm, I struggle a little. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day.